वेलकम बैक टू अवर इंग्लिश क्लास टुडे वन सेकेंड आई एम हियर टू टॉक विथ यू अबाउट ए न्यू लेसन सो डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न ए न्यू लेसन दैट इज रंगोली सो डियर फ्रेंड्स एज यू नो दैट रंगोली इज वेरी फेमस इन अवर इंडिया स्पेशली इन अवर महाराष्ट्र बिकॉज रंगोली इज ए टाइप ऑफ आर्ट and the rangoli we are drawing on different occasions uh, for example on festivals if some celebrations are there so to decorate the surroundings to decorate our homes we are drawing a rangoli which is the symbol of our joy and happiness rangoli is also part of welcome means if some guests are coming to our home so for their welcome we are drawing a rangoli in front of door steps so that's why it is very important so today we are going to learn about such important art that is rangoli so dear friends rangoli is one of the most beautiful and most pleasing art forms of india as i told you that rangoli is a art so it is most beautiful and most pleasing art form of our india in our india there are different type of arts so rangoli is one of the most beautiful art of india and the word rangoli or rangavali consists of two words that is rang which means color and avli means means row or wine means the rangoli or rangavali this word is made up of two words that is rang and avli so rang means color and avli means row or wine so students rangoli is the art of making designs or patterns on the walls or the floor so on the walls or on the floor we are drawing a designs and patterns which is the part of rangoli so students the rangoli designs are drawn in the courtyard or in the front of door step every day means uh, as in the beginning i told you that for the decoration purpose we are drawing a rangoli in the courtyard or in front of the door steps but every day we are drawing so students here i want to tell you that the most interesting feature of rangoli is that it is drawn of fresh every day means you may notice that every day whether in small in size or big in size but every day we are drawing a rangoli and it is known as a fresh so students as you know that on special occasions we are wearing special clothes and ornaments so in the same way special designs are made on the occasions of feast and festival means in our home or nearby our home if there some functions are there so we are wearing new clothes right so like this on every new occasion we are drawing new type of rangoli or new designs or new patterns so this is the most interesting feature of rangoli we have to know so students now we have to know about the designs and patterns of rangoli rangoli is art in the beginning i told you and this art consist of different designs and patterns so about these designs and patterns we have to learn now so students the traditional form of rangoli makes use of designs which is based on nature in other words we can say that the traditional form of rangoli is based on nature because it consists of mangoes creepers lotus and some other flowers sometime we are drawing the designs like flowers 
fruits so this is what this is telling us that the traditional form of rangoli is based on nature not only this sometime we are also drawing the pictures of animals and birds for example peacock so these all designs and patterns are related with the nature therefore we can say that the traditional form of rangoli is based on nature second thing rangoli designs also includes geometrical patterns and shapes means not only nature form but rangoli design also includes geometrical patterns and shapes for example circle square triangle rectangle so such a different type of geometrical shapes and patterns we are using in our rangoli so this is also part of design and pattern of rangoli nowadays some fancy designs and free hand drawing also used to make beautiful rangolis means gradually the forms of design and patterns of rangoli is changing before it was based on nature but now we are using geometrical shapes and patterns as well as we are also using some fancy designs and free hand drawings so these all are the designs and patterns of the rangoli so students to know more about the design and patterns of the rangoli you can see the pictures of rangoli on your screen so students now we have to learn how it is made means how rangoli is made so students usually rangoli is made up of green powders such as sand marble dust saw dust or rice grain powder means which are the material that is sand marble dust saw dust or rice grain powder by using these things the rangoli is made when we when we, uh, we are drawing that at that time we are feeling that rangoli is in the form of powder generally it is in white in color but by, by using different type of chemicals different colors or different type of rangoli are also manufactured so students now we have to know about the relationship between the rangoli and diwali so students here i want to tell you that there is a special relationship between diwali and rangoli diwali is also known as deepavali so as you know that deepavali or diwali is a festival of lights but the rangoli also enrich the joy and beauty of the diwali so therefore there is an important relationship between diwali and rangoli so here we have to know that rangoli occupies a special place in the festival of deepavali or diwali means during the festival of diwali or deepavali rangoli occupies an important as well as special place we cannot imagine diwali or deepavali without rangoli because rangoli is art as i told you and this art form is an expression of warm hospitality means when some people or guests are coming to our home so for their welcome we are drawing a rangoli in the courtyard or in front of the door steps and this is nothing but expression of our warm hospitality means when the people are coming to our home and when they are watching this rangoli so they are getting happiness and this, and this rangoli is expressing that there is a welcome of these people inside the home because it is the symbol of welcome so to welcome the guests we are drawing a rangoli in front of our door steps so as i told you that the rangoli signifies that 
द पीपल कमिंग टू दी हाउस आर वेलकम इन साइड सो एंड स्टूडेंट्स विद दिवाली फेस्टिवल स्टार्ट सो अप टू फाइव डेज वी आर ड्रॉइंग डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ डिजाइन एंड पैटर्न ऑफ द रंगोली टू डेकोरेट अवर होम एंड वी आर ऑल्सो यूजिंग डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कलर्स विच इज लुकिंग वेरी ब्यूटिफुल सो दे आर फोर दे आर टेलिंग एज दैट देर इज ए स्पेशल इम्पोर्टन्स ऑफ रंगोली ड्यूरिंग द दिवाली फेस्टिवल सो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वे वी लर्न अबाउट द डिजाइन एंड पैटर्न ऑफ द रंगोली वी ऑल्सो सॉ दैट हाउ रंगोली इज मेड एंड वी ऑल्सो केम टू नो अबाउट द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द दिवाली एंड द रंगोली so students at the last we have to know about the rangoli in different states means in our india especially in our maharashtra rangoli has an important place no doubt it is very clear but in other states also rangoli occupied an important place but in our maharashtra we are calling it rangoli but in other states the rangoli has different names so about this we have to know so therefore we have to know rangoli in different states so students on your screen there is a chart which is telling us about the names of the rangoli into the different states so you can see on your screen so students rangoli art is known by different names in different parts of our country so it is known as chok purana in uttar pradesh in rajasthan it is known as madna in andhra pradesh it is known as muggu and in our maharashtra gujarat and karnataka it is known as rangoli in west bengal it is known as alpana and in uttaranchal it is named aripana and in the part of southern region of our country that is in tamil nadu and kerala it is known as kolam so students each region has its special characteristics design and patterns means the rangoli uh, if the in maharashtra if we are drawing a rangoli so our patterns our designs are different from the southern part it means in tamil nadu and in, in kerala in the there uh, there the people are drawing the rangoli so their patterns and designs will be different as compared to our designs and patterns so it is showing variety into the design and patterns of the rangoli therefore here we can say that each region has its special characteristics of rangoli so therefore we can say that each region has its special characteristics design and patterns because according to the reason there is a change into the rangoli so students in this way we learn that rangoli art has been used for centuries to beautify many indian households means the purpose behind the rangoli is that to beautify our houses and our households so this is the main purpose so students to know more about the rangoli you can see the different designs and patterns on your screen so students in this way today we learn about an art that is rangoli in this lesson we studied about the designs and patterns of the rangoli we also came to know how rangoli is made we also studied about the relationship between diwali and rangoli and at last we studied how rangoli is known as in, into the different states so dear students i hope you understand this lesson thank you